Hey guys, in today's video, I wanted to show you all how to fix WeFlow for those of you who are having a problem getting a black screen or maybe if you open it and it sends you back to the main menu. I'm just going to open it here so I can show you guys this issue. Um, this is going to be assuming that you all followed my WeFlow tutorial so you have all your WeFlow files already set up. I'm just going to be showing you guys how to get the fix for this. You can see WeFlow tried to start up here, but it's sending me back to the main menu already. So what we're going to do is just take our SD card out and we're going to head over to our PC and get started. OK, so a couple of things we're going to grab here. We're going to start off with the WeFlow start configurator and we're just going to go over here and press download and I'll leave a link to everything that I'm talking about down in the description below. Uh, the next site will be the syscheck. This is a tool we're going to use in case the WeFlow start configurator doesn't work. Uh, let's go ahead and click this. And go to download for the zip file here. Close this. Next up will be ModMe. We scroll down to the bottom. We're going to click this one right here for the English installer, at least for me anyways. And then lastly, a WAD manager. Now, most of you might already have one, but if you don't, you can grab one now. I'm just going to grab this here for the ModMe edition. And now let's take a look at our SD card. All right, so I have my downloads folder over here on the right and my SD card over here on the left. Again, this is assuming you followed my WeFlow tutorial, which is why my SD card is so loaded up right now. Uh, but what we're going to start with is by unzipping our programs here. So let's take everything that needs to be unzipped. We will right click it and go to extract each archive to a separate folder. Then we can delete the zip files. And while we're here, we might as well just install ModMe real fast. You just double click on the exe. Uh, this might trigger something with your antivirus. So you might have to disable your antivirus before you install it. Um, I'm going to do no to the start menu folder, but I'll do yes to the desktop icon. And I don't want to launch ModMe right now, so I'll just uncheck that, hit finish. And we are good with the EXE. And now we're going to start transferring over our apps here. So let's go into our apps folder on our SD card. And we'll start with syscheck. So let's open this up. You can see there's an apps folder already in here. We'll open that up. You have syscheck again, open that up. There's the boot.dol. So we're going to back up one folder and we're gonna to toss this folder right here onto the apps folder. Now let's back up. Next up, we're gonna do the WeFlow start configurator. So let's open this up. And it uh, looks like there's another zip inside here. So let's right click, extract two. Open this one up. There's an apps folder, start configurator. There's the boot.dol, so let's back up one. We're gonna take this folder, toss it right onto the apps folder. Uh, let's go back again. And lastly, we have our WAD manager. If you already have a WAD manager, you can skip this, but I'll be doing this one. Uh, there's the boot.dol, we'll back up, toss this right in the apps folder, and we're all set. Let's take the SD card out, head back over to the Wii. And now that we're back on the Wii, I'm already in the homebrew channel, so we're gonna start off by opening the WeeFlow start configurator. I just wanna show you something, what happens for me at least whenever I hit load. Let's give it a moment. You're gonna get this exemption DSI occurred or stack dump error, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, the only way to really get out of this is hit the reset button and that will take you back to the homebrew channel. Give it a moment. And we're going to go ahead and go to the main menu. So I'm going to hit the home button on the Wiimote, go to exit the system menu. And what I'm going to do is go into the Wii options, go into data management, save data, Wii, and see how I have a Wii flow save. I'm going to click this and I'm going to hit erase. Hit yes. After that's done, we can go ahead and head back over to the homebrew channel. So let's back out of everything. Homebrew channel. Give this a second. And now we're going to try launching the WeFlow start config one more time. So let's open it, hit load. And notice how we have a different error right now. It says we don't have the latest iOS 58. I know it happened real fast, but maybe I'll put something on the screen for you guys to see. Or maybe I'll just open it a second time so you guys can see it again, because I know it happened pretty quick. It said uh, you need to install the latest iOS 58 version and the latest homebrew channel. So I'm going to show you how to fix that right now as well. So we already installed syscheck on here. So let's go ahead and find it. Uh, let's go over. And see how syscheck mod me additions right here. Click it, go to load. Once it's done, just go ahead and hit the A button and it'll start doing its thing. 
So when it's done, it's going to say success. Do you want to display the report? Go ahead and hit the A button. And it's going to tell you what it knows. But what we're really interested in, or what I'm interested in at least, is uh, looking at our iOSs. So let's go down to 58. And 58 for me, see how it says Rev 6175. I actually know the latest revision is 6176, so I do know that is behind. Well, let's go check out our other iOSs like 248, 249, 250, and 251. You can see mine are a mess and I made them a mess on purpose for this video, and I'm gonna show you how to fix them. The latest for these should all be D2X V11 Beta 3. You can notice I have Beta 2 on here. The revision should all be 65535, so they're all a mess here, and I'm gonna show you how to fix that. Uh, but ideally, if yours looks good, then you can skip this step, but might as well do what I'm doing and see what happens. Uh, let's go ahead and hit the home button. And what we're going to do is take the SD card out and head back over to the PC. Okay, so now that we're back on the PC, we're going to actually open up ModMe now. So let me double click on the icon here. If uh, this is your first time opening it, it'll say, uh, please type the word I followed by the word agree with a space between those two words and then press enter to continue. If you can't follow those instructions then you have no business modding anything. So just type in I agree, hit enter. And give this a second. And what we're gonna do is take a look at our SD card real fast. I'm gonna scroll to the bottom and you can see we have syscheck.csv. Let's go ahead and toss that into ModMe, hit enter, and let's hit enter again. And it's going to say, do you want ModMe to open this file, yes or no? I'm going to hit Y for yes. Give this a second. And now it's going to be analyzing our check. And when it's done, it'll tell you what it finds. So just give it a moment. I feel like I'm saying that a lot, but it's pretty much what it is. Okay, and when it's all done, it'll tell you uh, what it found and what you're gonna need to copy to your SD card. Notice here, I was talking about CIOS 248, 249, 50, and 51. This is the latest here, D2X V11 Beta 3. Uh, my iOS 58 was also out of date, so here is the latest version, V6176. It, is, it also shows that I don't have a load preloader or pre preloader installer, and then some other random stubs. And uh, since I was actually testing this before, I found that it's the extra stubs that actually fixed it for me, but maybe all of this will fix it for you, whatever it may be. So let's go ahead and hit the Y to continue downloading everything. Okay, when everything's done and where it says enter selection here, we're going to hit O, which is going to open the file location for us. Enter. And you can see I have the folder right here. It generated us an apps folder and a WAD folder. Might as well just start with the apps folder. And for me, it's got load preloader for you, might be uh, other stuff, but just go ahead and go to apps, load preloader. It looks like these are all just the boot.dol on the inside. Same thing for this. So I'm just gonna take all three of these, throw them right into the apps folder. And for me, it says replace, I'll go ahead and replace. Then after that, let's head over back to the previous folder. And now we have a WAD folder. Inside here are all of our stubs and wads for like the CIOSs and stuff. So let's go into our SD card, go into our wad folder, wherever it may be. There it is. And what I'm going to do is inside of this folder to grab everything at once, you can go into search, type in dot WAD. Then you can just highlight everything here and throw this into your wads folder. And we're pretty much all set. So let's take the SD card back out, head back over to the Wii one final time. Okay, so back on the Wii, what we're gonna do is open up our WAD manager. Go ahead and hit load. Once this loads up, select your uh, Wii SD card slot, press A. Look for your WADs folder. And we're gonna select pretty much everything we uh, put in here earlier. So I'm gonna go to the first one. I know blue circles is actually my Wii Flow forwarder. So I'm gonna go right underneath, hit the plus button, which will select everything to be installed. When it's done, it'll take you back up to the top. From here, you can select that first one one more time with the A button, press the A button again, and it will start installing everything. So just give this a moment. All right, when that's done, it should tell you however many titles you installed succeeded and hopefully zero failed. Let's go ahead and press A button to continue and the home button, which should take us back to the homebrew channel. 
Now, if everything went well, we're gonna try to open up the WeFlow Start Configurator one more time, which for me was on the first page. Hit load, see what happens. All right, looks like it booted up this time. So uh, there's not really much you can change on here. You're gonna do your four CIOS mode. You have your four CIOS and then you have your HDD port. Uh, your HDD port should be set to zero if you're using a hard drive. I'll leave a picture of what port zero looks like. Um, but for four CIOS, for those of you who are having any issues, you can start off by setting it to 249 and for four CIOS mode, select yes, and then hit the home button to save the selection. After that happens, we can go ahead and go to exit the system menu and we'll try opening up WeFlow. So now let's say you run into that error again where you see that uh, message telling you need to reinstall iOS 58 after we did everything. Try opening your WeFlow WAD first and then going back and opening that application again because it's going to create a new save and perhaps it'll let you go through like that. I've had that issue happen before so sometimes it works like how we did it. Sometimes you just got to start WeFlow then go back and do what we just did. Uh, anyways, let's go ahead and open WeFlow. So far black, oh, okay. Not sending us back to the main menu, so that's a good sign. And there it is. So it's all perfectly set up, at least to how I had it in my previous video. Uh, but for those of you who don't have it up and running right now, you can go back into the start configurator and change 249 to 250. You can try 251. Uh, port zero should honestly stay at zero, but you can try others. You just tinker with it to try to get it where you need it to be. Hopefully for most of you though, you should have it up and running. And I think I'm going to end the video here. So uh, I'll try to help you guys out the best I can if you leave a comment down below. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios. Thank you.